Hi, I'm Tim Cool. I don't consider myself a very creative person with vivid imagination, but I sincerely think that if you even try to engage in respective activities, you know, creating stuff based on something from within, brainstorming ideas, writing down some thoughts, even that may help you appreciate life itself. And it's easy, because it doesn't require much. Only your mind and some concentration and inspiration. Suppose it's Monday morning, a hard day full of challenges and problems is ahead of you. The weather outside doesn't help it, everything is dull and depressing. So you have to get up, you have to go no matter what. No lockdown there. So the world seems irritating, boring, even bleak. That's when imagination comes to save you. Imagine it being a beginning of a comedy, which just tricks you into believing it's a drama. Or imagine what could go wrong with your daily routine. Or just imagine Friday evening, as many of us do. It's your choice. Imagination is not only a means to process reality, it could be a thing of its own if you put your mind to it. Different forms of art are all about that. Fantasies can give us pure joy if we are into broadening our horizons and if we love to see well-known things in a different light. To be honest, I enjoy uh, looking at something I'm familiar with from a weird angle. Uh, for example, <laughs> um, you know, uh, what, if, what if my friend was stuck in my body living my life for just a day? what he or she would do, right? Furthermore, connecting things which appear to be from different worlds can make your head work in a weirdly fun way. For example, two words, virus and a rainbow. You start figuring out how these two incomparable things can be ultimately interconnected. Maybe the white color is a special virus which feeds off the light and dispersion while making a rainbow is actually a way to see the disease of the sky. Or maybe the virus which attack humans and other animals are in fact paratroopers sent via the rainbow from the sky to conquer the world we live in. Your choice. Making stuff up when it doesn't hurt could be a way to become more empathetic, I think. You imagine how others live based on what you know. You may start to see other people's point of view and it could eventually lead you to a better understanding of others. And yes, I am aware that there are people who are biologically incapable of fantasizing stuff, search for the word aphantasia, and it's okay, I suppose they do other things better. Anyway, that is why I think imagination is something to live for. This is the first video in a series called something to live for. Here I'm trying to come up with uh, some things uh, which are worth living for, <laughs> in, in my opinion. So what do you think? Which thoughts or ideas do you like? Is fantasizing good for you? Has imagination helped you in getting through your problems? Uh, do you like daydreaming or writing down your thoughts? Do you agree with me that uh, imagination is something to live for? And uh, if you don't, it's great as well. Either way, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you feel like giving a thumbs up to this video or even consider subscribing to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.